Hello dear students how are you hope everyone is doing good in our previous video we learnt about what is a free a free electrons what are the current flow through the wire as well as how does a free electrons move how they are moving randomly and when the current uh, flows in the uh, uh, in that particular circuit then how does an electron starts moving in one direction then we studied about electric current what is electric current where i is equal to q upon t where q is the charge and t is the time taken so here we come to know that 1 1 ampere is equal to 1 coulombs upon 1 second then we learned about resist, uh, resistance of ohms law we studied about ohms law where the statement of ohms law says that if the physical state of a conductor remains constant the current flowing through that is directly proportional to the potential difference between them okay so we have studied about put, uh, ohms law and we studied about how 1 volt upon 1 ampere is equal to 1 ohms today in this video we are going to study about a resistance and resistivity of a conductor as well as the difference uh, different symbols in an electric circuit so let us start with our video and learn about resistance resistivity and electric circuit hello dear students now we will start with resistivity our topic for today video is resistivity now we have already studied what are free electrons and according to the free electrons i have showed you in the figure that how does a atom starts moving when it is in current okay when the current is applied to the uh, to the electrons inside the uh, the atom how does it moves right and we have seen two pictures where first the uh, the movement of the electrons are random okay they are moving anyhow randomly but in the second one when the current is applied to the uh to the electron or to that particular object what happens they start moving in a straight line direction now what happens when they are moving into a straight line direction now look here what happens here for an example here the movement of the electrons are in a straight line direction okay first they are in random motion but the next the free electrons are moving in a straight line direction so this is a straight line direction when they are moving but when they are moving there there is a movement here and when this electron is moving from here and goes and collide with this electron collide means it goes and dash the electron this electron will go and collide this one the this electron will collide this one this will collide the next the next and then from here this will collide the this so in this way what happens when there is a collision here in this way they are moving like this what happens the current starts flowing in that circuit okay now when this hazard does like when they are moving around this flow of things which are there around this is called resistance what it is called resistance when they are moving around they are carrying charge they are carrying current with it okay and this current this charge is called the resistance this movement along with the charge which is carried so open your textbook on page number 34 okay there is a little introduction there resistance and resistivity of a conductor now what are conductors again i am explaining the material which carries the current is called conductor now very short paragraph they have explained this as i said y'all they have a lot of high potential when the current starts when the current is applied they start moving in one direction and these uh, electrons are having high potential and when they are moving they get collided that whole thing is been explained in this particular paragraph so see there as shown in the figure 3.4 which is this collision uh, figure there are large number of free electrons in a conductor they are constant constantly in a random motion first they are in random motion as i gave you the example of your uh games period okay when lakshmikant sir is not there that time how you all react you all are moving anyhow randomly but as the sir comes then everyone is standing straight in a uh, line and then uh, on the ground also you all are in discipline correct 
So same example over here. So when a potential difference is applied between the two ends of the conductor, this electron starts moving from one end at a lower potential to the end at a higher potential. So as I said you all also before that whenever the current is applied to any kind of a free electrons or any object, it starts moving from a lower potential towards the higher potential over here when they are moving in a free electron. This direction, directional motion of an electron causes the flow of current. What mark this point? This directional motion of an electron causes the flow of current. Uh, of current. So these are directionally, they are moving. They are moving in one particular direction. Okay. So that's why I showed you all the arrows there. So when they are moving in this one particular direction, they are moving around in a particular direction. And this direction causes what? They causes a current to flow in the particular circuit. Okay. Now we are going to study about circuit also. So moving electrons strikes the atoms and ions while lying along their path. Such collision, mark the word collision. Now you know what is the meaning of collision? When one atom or one electron get dashed or they, they go and uh, what they beat, okay? That beating, the dashing is called collision, okay? They come and dash like this. So, so further, moving electrons strikes the atoms and, and ions which lies along their path. Such collision cause hindrance. Now what is hindrance? Hindrance is when that collision is there. Okay. And there is a, a, a pressure applied. And the, the hindrance causes a pro, the process to go further. Correct. So process here is to, uh, to generate current. So that is the hindrance over here. So moving electron strikes the atoms and the ions while lying along their path. Such collision causes hindrance and to flow the electrons that opposes the current. This hindrance is called as the resistance. So they are opposing the current also and simultaneously they are creating what? Resistance. What, what are they are going to create here is resistance due to the hindrance which is caused over there. So that is the meaning of what we say is resistance. Now. According to the resistance, we have resistivity also. Like we have learnt about Ohm's law in our previous uh, lecture. Okay. So according to the Ohm's law, we have learnt what is the derivation of Ohm's law. Now today we are going to learn about what is resistivity of a conductor. Now we came to know how resistance is, uh, uh, is created in a free electrons. Okay. Due to the hindrance of the current which is there and it opposes that that process is called the resistance okay now what is resistivity at a given temperature now what is included here there the temperature is included the resistance r how it is denoted now side by side i'm writing here so that you come to know also what are the terms which are used in this particular definition so resistance is uh, denoted by capital r okay of a conductor depends on its length so what we are talking here about is length which is capital L area of a cross section so area of a cross section which is always denoted by capital A and the material it is made up of so whatever material it is made up of, like iron or we can say copper, whatever material it is made up of, that is included. So let us uh, now see what is resistance or resistivity. Now resistivity at a given temperature, the resistance, resistance R of a conductor depends on its what? What does it depends? So this resistance is depending on the length as well as the area of the cross section. So, how much is the length of that particular object? How much is the area of that particular object? So, that much will be its resistance. Got it? And uh, like we come to know how much and what kind of material it is made up of also. Okay, very important. What kind of material? So, again I am explaining here. The resistivity, resistivity, the resistance depends upon what? 
two uh, three types of thing first is the length of the given a uh, material or length of a given object the second is the area of the cross section which is denoted by a and the third thing is what kind of material it is made up of which material it is made up of then we can calculate its resistivity got it so again i am repeating at a given temperature so even temperature is counted here the resistance r of a conductor depends on its length area of cross section and the material it is made up of so further what is the what we can say the equation of resistivity let us see if the resistance of a conductor is r then we say r is directly proportional to length r is directly proportional to length see here this sign says that it is directly proportional this 1 upon a says it is inversely proportional keep that in your mind so a resistance r is directly proportional to l also r is inversely proportional to a a stands for area of a cross section therefore we can say that, uh, that resistance r is directly proportional to length and inversely proportional to area of a cross section where to remove this uh, sign of direct variation or uh, inverse variation we will put p p as what is the constant of proportionality therefore r resistance is equal to p l upon a what it is r resistance is equal to p l upon a is this clear with everyone hope you all have understood this again i am explaining your pay attention so what does the resistivity says at a given temperature the resistance r of a conductor depends on its length area of a cross section and the material it is used or made up of so we will write further if the resistance of a conductor is r then we say resistance is directly proportional to length also resistance is inversely proportional to 1 upon a which is area of a cross section inversely proportional therefore resistance r is directly proportional to l and inversely proportional to area of a cross section where r is equal to p l upon a where p is the constant of proportionality let us see further what are the further definitions so let us now look further what are the units of resistivity the first point says the unit of resistivity in si unit is ohms meter what do we write here ohms meter so for si unit it is ohms meter the next sentence says resistivity is a specific property of a material and different material have different what resistivity so all the material will have similar resistivity is not possible that's not true okay so each and every material has its own temperature as well as has its own resistivity also so according for an example like copper has its resistivity as 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohms meter so that is its resistivity okay like for an example in your textbook it is given very clearly like diamond has its resistivity 1.62 into 10 raised to uh, 13 is its resistivity ohms meter so like this you can go through it now there are certain topics which have been cancelled in this particular like uh, according to 25 percent but i feel like dear children you should just go through it once you get extra knowledge only okay don't uh, learn those things uh, while uh, the exams are going on but right now when you all are just going through the chapters and when you all are just study go through all these topics also because next year it may help you all so now, now our next topic is electric circuit we will draw our electric circuit and we will see what are the things which are present inside our electric circuit so let us now move towards our next topic which is very important topic of this particular chapter is electric circuit now when we are learning about electricity we should know how does a circuit look like and what are the symbols and things which are represented in the circuit now before we start with our journey towards our circuit and learn about our circuit let us go through the definition first and then learn about circuit and what are the symbols which are represented in this particular circuit okay so what does the definition of uh, the electric circuit says as a continuous path 
what is the path how is the path path is continuously flowing there so the current can continuously flow so that's why that word continuous is used here a continuous path of an electric current through conducting wires is connected to two ends of a cell which are the two ends of the cell one is this end the other is this end this is a particular electric cell okay which has a positive as well as a negative charge okay dear students so of a cell and other resistance is called an electric circuit what it is called as an electric circuit again i am repeating the definition a continuous path of an electric current through conducting wires connected to the two ends of a cell and other resistance is called an electric circuit let us see how does our electric circuit look like and what are the things which are uh, in our electric circuit now you can see here one particular box is there now here what is connected the two terminals of the battery we say as so two ends of the battery so towards the one end is the positive and towards the second end is our negative the uh, the thing starts from here from the positive the current is moving from here it goes and come over here again what charges are here look here there is a positive charge as a negative charge now this is a device amp meter we have already studied about amp meter now what is the amp meter is a device in which we measure the current here so this amp meter is connected in series now what do we mean by a word series and connection that we are going to study in our next video and next topic resistance in series and resistance in parallel both the things we are going to study so over here amp meter okay which is the device over here which is connected to the circuit then moves towards resistance this part is called resistance which is always a zigzag like this okay this zigzag means it stabilizes the current to move from here and then it moves upward again here positive and a negative charge is there and here voltmeter v is there your amp meter a is there okay voltmeter is in a parallel with the resistance it is parallel it is connected in parallel as i said your resistance in series and parallel two things are the concept which we are going to study in our next video so this is the resistance which is r okay and then again the current moves downwards and starts flowing from here again it goes from here starts moving towards the negative terminal again moves to the positive terminal and keeps on flowing in a circuit again move goes to the amp meter okay amplimeter or uh, connected in series then again goes to voltmeter okay again uh, gets stabilized with the resistor resistance and then again starts moving in a circuit so one thing you have to remember dear students is the positive and the negative charges where it is and the arrows when you are putting so always see that it moves from here okay the arrows are moving particularly the if you mark the arrows in an opposite then your circuit is wrong consider uh, totally wrong so whenever you are uh, the, uh, you are drawing your circuit diagram make it very sure from where do you uh, pass your uh, what we say the arrows from which uh, terminal you are taking your charge and passing your arrows is that clear with everyone so now the next topic which we are going to see is the symbols for components of the electric current and their uses now according to the board syllabus this particular page is cancelled but dear students if you don't know about the symbols and their uses only how are you going to learn about the circuit and then how you will understand the resistance in series and parallel whole circuit diagram so according to me i am going to teach you all this particular topic but for exams they won't ask you uh, question based on this particular topic that identify the symbol or uh, write down the uses of symbols such questions won't come but we will go through the symbols one by one now as we learnt about circuit diagram just now i i said y'all about the arrows okay now look into this particular thing now the conventional direction of the current is always from positive to negative 
but the but the electrons always try to move from negative to positive so this thing you have to remember dear students because when you draw the circuit diagram according to the board rules if the arrows which you all have put on the circuit diagram when you all point out the arrows if the arrows are not from positive to negative in your circuit diagram the circuit diagram will be considered as a wrong diagram okay then you will get zero there but so that's why many students make this mistake so i felt like i should uh, make it very clear with you all that the directional of the uh, uh, conventional current is from what the current the directional current is always from positive to negative but the electrons always move from negative to positive that means uh, the directional current is always from higher potential towards the lower potential okay dear students so dear students now let us uh, go through our page number 36 uh, in your textbook as i have said y'all this particular page is been cancelled as this particular page is cancelled by the board but we will learn about the different symbols of the electric circuit so our first symbol is electric cell see how does an electric cell looks like a positive line is always a bigger one and a negative line is always small so whenever you draw a cell in your electric circuit always make sure that you make a positive line as big and negative line as small what is its use to apply a potential difference between the two ends of a conductor next is a battery see there battery where you are using what two signs there positive negative positive negative negative okay to apply a large potential difference between the two ends of a conductor next are the switches okay so open tap key or a plug so to do on and off so symbol is we make bracket and then we draw two lines to stop the flow of a current flowing in a circuit disconnected two ends of the wire the next is close tap key or a plug cell which is one dot in between the 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 uh, the, uh, the lines there okay the curves which we make to start the flow of the current in a circuit by connecting two ends of a wire now connecting wire or we can say uh, con connecting wires so straight line wires are there you connect the various components in the circuit you must have seen the wires cross wires are the sign see there how does the sign looks like to show the wire which crosses but are not connected light bulb which is see the sign there how we draw a bulb so to test the flow of electricity lighted current is flowing unlighted current is not flowing resistance see there how we draw a resistance very important uh, uh, symbol so zigzag lines there to control the flow of current in the circuit as i said here it tries to control it's try to stabilize the current next is variable resistance where we draw a resistance sign and draw an arrow on it to change the to change the resistance as required and thereby control the current amp amp meter which i showed you all in my video on the board also it is denoted by a positive and negative you have to draw to measure the current flowing in the circuit then we have a voltmeter which is always denoted by v okay to measure the potential difference between the two points in the circuit so in this way these are all the important what we say are the symbols which represents our uh, which are represented in our electric circuit so let us move towards our next topic which is uh, the con conductors and insulators now what are conductors and what are insulators about this topic i have already uh, said you all many a time what are conductors and what are insulators so conductors are those substances which have low resistance are called as conductors current can flow easily through such materials so uh, especially they have very low resistance power as well as the current can flow from them very easily so what are the materials which we can consider as in conductors here are iron copper wires all are come under conductors and next is insulators 
those substances which has extremely high resistance and though which carry current cannot flow are called as insulators so basically we can say in our simple language the material which do not uh, do not connect the current or which do not carry current is called as an insulators for an example rubber glass plastic okay all wood are all the examples of an insulators now according to the uh, 25% uh, syllabus experimental proof for ohm's law is been cancelled further topic which is about resistance in series and parallel we will be continuing in our next video thank you